Matteo7 says, I want to see 5-0 today. Um, I don't see any reason why not, Matteo, to be honest. I, I don't see any reason why not. We are uh, at home um, against the side that is definitely going down, bottom of the Premier League. We should, and I expect us to win this game, to be honest. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't do. Uh, my prediction is 4-0, and I think... I think 4-0 is about right, if you agree. I think 4-0 is about right. I think United should be looking at uh, winning that one 4-0. Lukaku to score at any time. I totally agree with that. What's your score prediction for today, Andy? Uh, I'm going 3-0. I, I really am confident. I've been quite conservative over the past few weeks, but we, we just simply have to win and win convincingly today. 3-0, I'm going. But we will get the job done here. They are not beating us. No way. West Brom, bottom of the Palace. team, nothing to play for. It's not going to happen. Not today. The three points in this game should be a given. These are no threat to Manchester United. Now, I'm going for a big scoreline today. I think United are going to win this one 3 or 4 nil. Um, I want you guys to get your comments and your predictions in the team uh, in the comments below so we can read that out. Uh, uh, my score prediction is 4 nil. Is it 3 nil or 3 1? Producer Chris is it? 2 1 to United. 7 nil United. Producer Chris balls it. 2-1. Get an Alan Pardew tattoo if it don't come in. Wow. Wow. Yeah, they're going down. There, there's not. If you played this match 100 times, United would win it 101. That's how bad they are. Lukaku, though, know, into the box. Cut back. Penalty. I think we know it's a penalty. Is it a penalty? No, it's not. It's walked away. You know, you know, it's a penalty. It's a penalty every day of the week. Man City blew it. They're having a go at the referee. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, it should have been a penalty. It should have been a penalty. Oh, we should have. We should have won it. Oh. Shut up. Shut up. Well, it's interesting, isn't it? We've got 20 minutes left. If West Brom win it, City are Premier League title winners. They're going to have to try and win it. So surely we've got a great chance of winning it on the break or something like that. <laughs> and they've scored. West Brom have scored. Um, from a corner. Unbelievable. Happy. So the cross comes in. Who's that on the back post? He doesn't win the header. Lukaku doesn't go with his man. And uh, Matic gets beaten in the air. Yeah, that's Matic and Lukaku's fault. Lukaku just let him run. Oh, small in at the end. Should have scored. Cross came in. Valencia's ball, I think Smalling should score. Every... I can't head the ball. Yeah, a week after beating the top team in the league, we do this. And it's pathetic. Yeah. This is... I mean, I don't think there was... A, the, the stadium is empty at this point. It's pretty embarrassing. We're talking about West Brom. They've won. 1-0. West Brom and Jalbin have won the game. Um, thanks for coming on, Jared. Um, it's going to be an interesting match reaction, I think. Too little, too late, not good enough, an absolute disgrace. Should we leave it at that? Um, I have no idea what the hell we just witnessed in there at Old Trafford. United was garbage. We was absolutely garbage. That's the worst team in the league. The absolute bottom worst team in the league. Jose buys the players, so it's still his fault. All right. Um... Should have played 4-4-2. Jose's never played 4-4-2, so don't hold your hopes up for that. We haven't got the players to play 4-4-2. We're just not good, says Ant. I don't care. Next season, it will be United. Um, well played, guys. We need to get more players next transfer market. Listen, it's not about transfers. It's not about transfer market. Stop being an absolute transfer div. There's more to football than transfers. I know some of you are actually fans of transfers more than you're actually fans of football. It's blatant. I see it in the comments all the time. You can tell by when transfer videos bang versus other videos. But football's not about transfer windows. Football's about what happens on the pitch. That 11 on the pitch, on paper, was more than good enough to beat West Brom. Does anyone disagree with that? If you do, you're wrong. Manchester United's starting 11 was more than good enough to beat West Brom and it didn't. So why didn't it? Why? Why couldn't we get over the line against them? Why? Why do we come away without a victory? Why? Why? Is it a mentality thing? Why? Why? The worst team comes to Old Trafford and they beat us. Why? Why?
an absolute joke from start to finish for Manchester United today. And the only person that deserves to take all of the blame is Jose Mourinho. And then in the second half, his substitutions were awful. Herrera, Pogba, Ashley Young, yes, they weren't doing anything. I proper, I proper, proper understand that they weren't doing enough there today. But... But you've got to look at the simple fact that his substitutions left the side in balance. He took, he stripped away the midfield. He stripped away the midfield and thought, yeah, I know, I'll throw more attackers on, strip away the midfield, and that's how we'll create more chances. It didn't make any sense. His substitutions were so, so poor. I was in the crowd there trying to get myself going, trying to sing a few songs. I got went in there bouncing today, went in there bouncing, absolutely bouncing, thinking, yeah, United going to get a few goals, we'll get a victory today, and it'll be a good day. But then the performance is awful. And we've gift wrapped, gift wrapped the title for City. We know they were going to win it anyway, but let them win it by winning their games. You've got, you know, United won leagues and you win the league by beating the teams you met to beat. And that's what we've got to do next season. We've got to come back stronger and beat the teams we're supposed to beat, the likes of West Brom and teams like that. They shouldn't be, we shouldn't even be drawing here at Old Trafford. They should be getting a good hiding. We should be going out and battering teams like this, not throwing the kitchen sink at them and getting nowhere as they walk away with a 1 0 when it's embarrassing. The play we got there to open key is more bothered about haircuts at the moment, you know what I mean? He should be should be dominating games now and he dragged him off rightly so. But he wasn't the only one who was poor today. Lindelof getting pushed out of the way too easy. You know, it's a few we got a few problems, mate. Absolutely it's fucking don't, shocking. Don't swear bad, don't <laughs> the chat children's programme. It's just like if you want to pay yeah. 500 quid for a day trip and you want yeah. to see them like on their seesaws. Do you know what I mean? I'll on their swings. Have you, Webby? Do you know what? I, I'm quite lucky because I live local. Yeah, and I feel sorry, funny, sorry for these. My mate brought his kid for the first day today. Now imagine that. Trying to get him to support United and all that. You know what I mean? So it's hard. He won't be back, will he? He won't be back. And you can understand now, you know what I mean? We expect United to beat whatever bottom of the league and then we'll get beat today and we'll give the trophy to them scumbags over there. That's a bit harsh. And, and Mourinho needs to go now. He needs to be sacked. Mourinho needs to go because you're leaving the best player on the, on the sideline and then bring him on last five minutes. And it's disgusting. We need a decent... We need to get, get rid of him, get Fergie back, and we need to win that title. If, if, but if they didn't put no effort in today, I mean, it's really disappointing because of the, it's the team at the bottom that's gone. I mean, we, they had one corner and they scored off it. We didn't do anything, this, and after that, we didn't even... We didn't even got, look like we were going to score, did we? We didn't make any effort on the goal or nothing. Manchester United have lost 1-0 to West Bromwich Albion and handed Manchester City the title. Absolutely unbelievable. I can't actually put my hat on that because I did say after the Manchester City result, it was 45 minutes, we could have lost that game in the first half. We did really well in the second half, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's not become Arsenal because you can become deluded. You can think you've turned a corner because Manchester is red. We've got to see what we do against Spurs in the FA Cup and whether we approach that in the same way. I never in a million years expected us to approach the West Brom game in that way and come out of it losing it 1-0. Unbelievable. We are being laughed at from John O'Groats to Land's End today. Every club in England is laughing at us because we've just put in a performance like that against the team that's 10 points adrift at the bottom. And of course, Liverpool fans and Man City fans will be laughing at us. I always say, don't care. You're a liar. Liar, liar. The fact that we can't win a game like that at home is a joke. And you know what? I just, I, I, he looks like a man defeated, though. Let's be honest. Mourinho looks like a man defeated. He comes out with the top, with these lines about the, the, the they, they back me, the club are with me, but he's subbing off his best player, Paul Pogba, after 60 minutes again. There was, I mean, that that was just all I can say is that you know I've seen some people having a pap at Mata, Sanchez, Lingard, Martial, but that second half, if you've ever played football or you actually watched that game. How can you have a go at the attackers when it was just a mess? There was no tactics. That Mourinho may as well have just gone home for the second half and said, I'm throwing all you attackers on and hopefully you score a goal. Because there's no there was no system, there was no there was no logic to what we do. It was literally chuck all my attackers on and hope. Hey!